Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and this is one of my favorite new features in Adobe Camera Raw, and it's all about creating really great panoramas. I'm a big fan of panoramas and stitching images together, both aerial images and land-based images, and I love to use my iPhone and any portable device for taking quick and easy panoramas. But what I also love is the ability to merge these panoramas together inside of Adobe Camera Raw. Of course, I'm using Adobe Camera Raw for its speed and efficiency. Let me demonstrate a great new feature that's just been announced for Adobe Camera Raw. In this case, I'm going to select these images that I've taken with a GoPro Hero 4 camera. These are aerial images. I'm going to open them into Adobe Camera Raw. I'll select all of the images, then from the flyout menu, I'm going to merge them together with Merge to Panorama right here. This is fantastic because the merging process is accelerated by the GPU acceleration built into your computer. So you get much faster results here. However, the results you do get in many cases are irregular as you see here on the screen. The shape and edge does not match the edge or frame of your final document. However, here's the new option right over here. It's called Boundary Warp. I can move this to the right and it starts to warp and distort the edges of the image until it moves toward the boundaries of your given image size. Wow! So I used to use great features like Content-Aware Fill and my Liquify features to make adjustments just like these. But it took a lot of time and now it's built into the merging process here inside of Adobe Camera Raw. Not to mention the fact that these same features are available in Adobe Lightroom. In this case, I can select Merge and combine all of these images together into a single DNG image as you see here as I select it. What's amazing is I can continue to work on this image with these non-destructive adjustments found here in Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom. I want to show you one other image to demonstrate another great feature. Here with this image from Portofino, I'm going to select these images right here. This set of images always gave me a bit of trouble when it came to the adjustment of the horizon. So in this case, let's open them up again here inside of Adobe Camera Raw, select all the images, and merge them together. And you'll see that my horizon has a bit of a problem. It's going to be slanted slightly to the left. Okay, there you can see my horizon isn't quite right. This new feature called Boundary Warp will not only stretch and distort the edges, but it will try and maintain a perfect horizon. It will adjust the horizon so that it's truly horizontal. Just like that. That is incredible. This is a fantastic new addition to Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom that's going to give you some amazing results. There's one thing to watch out for. If you have strong verticals, for example, architectural features, or in this case, some trees on the edge of this image, it will tend to distort verticals near the edge of your image. Something to watch out for. In this case, I corrected the problem easily just by turning my image into a smart object and then adjusting the edge with the liquify features found in Adobe Photoshop. There you have it. Give this new feature a try the next time you're merging multiple images together here inside of Adobe Camera Raw, found in Bridge, or in Adobe Lightroom. Look for version 9.4 for Adobe Camera Raw or 6.4 for Adobe Lightroom. Amazing. Give it a try.